system kind of instantly kind of gravitating and driving to it? Yeah, you could tell they've played a lot of football. Um, some, some things they pick up naturally, you know, I'm just out there, you know, just tweaking some of the technique, uh, getting the pad level lower, working through some eye progression, but most mostly they're, the fun thing about this group is, is they've seen a lot of football, so um, some of the natural things are coming out, which is fun fun for a coach to see. This is coming back, talking about the fighting to be back on the field, healthy. Yeah, those two are, uh, exciting con uh, combo um, they're working themselves in you know um, we do have a lot of depth um, but when they go or when they are getting in they're, they're showing um, why, they, why, why they've been improved here and um, a couple of good, good players to watch for. What was the key Andy to keeping them up to speed in the spring when they couldn't go out there and, and run it at full go how did you make sure that when fall camp came they were going to be on a pretty level playing yeah, field. Yeah, we, we basically turned them into coaches. You okay. know, we always say the teacher learns the most. So um, as we were going through it, they were watching the film. They weren't exactly experiencing it out on the field, but they were verbalizing it. They were teaching it. So um, they got they got their reps in a different in a different way, um, which is which they're profiting off of now, right. right? Now that we're in and they can play. Was that something you've done in the past at, at other stops where you've had injured guys maybe go through that? Or is it something you kind of came up with here? Where'd that come from? Um, well, no, not, not necessarily. I just I've never had this many guys. Right. So um, so it was fun to, to work with a group of guys out on the field and then have three or four other guys mentoring the guys that were playing. So that was uh, kind of unique to this situation. Um, but, um, you know, it's been in the teaching progression in the style that the teacher learns the most. Yeah. I, I don't know if we've seen you since Jake announced he was coming, but what have your impressions been of him? I know three practices, but I know you guys kind of monitored the summer workouts. And yeah, I, I just um, kind of covered it with somebody sorry. else here. Um, uh, you know, he, when he walks out to the field, he's got presence to him, yeah. which is really cool, right? Like, the, the, you could tell people relax around him, right? Uh, he sets the tone without talking. Um, Obviously, his place speaks for itself, right? When he's out there, he's pretty electric, right? Um, he's working through some things because we're doing some new things, but like I said before, he's a natural, right? He's seen a lot of football, um, does a lot of things naturally, and, and we're really lucky to have him back. Caitlin mentioned life lessons are being taught, and that's helping translate to things on the field. Is that a, a part of your philosophy? What is yeah. that? Yeah, well, the players come first, right? We, we, we love we love our players first. That's what we do. We love our players first, right? And then we and then we start to coach. You know, because I think um, learning doesn't happen if it's just a player and coach. It's got, there's got to be a relationship that's built. So that's what we that's what all of us on this team try to do as coaches and players. We're trying to be a family here first, and then we go on to the, the to the to the X's and O's. We see results then, and all the results on the field and how they're executing a tackle. Um, yeah, we're seeing it um, from a day to day. But I think I think they're playing a lot faster. They're trusting a lot more, you know, because we have that relationship. Who, who's you surprised? Maybe better, excited about maybe the amount of depth you were going to have, like once August rolled around. We were we we were as a team as a as a team. You know, and I, I think this is unprecedented having this many um, seniors on the football team. So yeah, with depth, you know, like gosh. That's that's really the thing that all of us in college football want, right? We want we want available bodies, um, good available bodies, and we feel like we have that. Sharif talked about kind of rehabbing in the spring and not being able to work with you directly. You know, like what did you kind of see from him in these first couple of days on field with someone that you didn't get to work with in the spring? Yeah, I really love what I'm seeing out of Tariq. Um, um, he's you could tell that he's really studied what we're doing. Um, and it's showing out on the field. Um, he's got really good athleticism. He's, he's, uh, he's got pr pretty good vision, and uh, he's, he's a natural in some of the things that he does. You mentioned that there was like a mental block coming back from an injury that players kind of talk about a little bit. Have you seen him kind of work through that at all in the spring? Yeah, or for, um, I guess summer. I guess in the first three days of camp. I mean, yeah. Well, we're we're working we're working these guys at multiple positions, so that that's loading them up on the early. You know, in the early part of, of camp, and they'll work through that as we go. You know, and that's probably what he's talking about. What kind of, I guess, building or relationship is it for you now as a coach being able to work with someone that you didn't just work with in the spring and in terms of an on-field role? It hasn't changed. You know, we, we've 
they, they've been included in everything that we've done from day one, whether that's um, me communicating with them just on the sideline during spring football or in a meeting room to, to now where they're playing. That's really the, the, the only thing that's changed is they're, playing, they're, they're suited up and playing now. Was it like, I don't want to call it a blessing in disguise, but obviously you want all your guys out there for as many reps, but to have some of those guys who were available in the spring to get some of those ones and twos reps, was that – that help you out now as you get into this and you have guys who have done it and repped it a lot? Absolutely. Those guys earn they, they earn something in the spring, right? Those, those guys earn something in the spring. So we haven't taken that away from them. Right. You know, they're, they're very much like we're working everybody in so we can see them work together. Yeah. So it's going to be fun seeing how this thing unfolds. Yeah. You know, it's, it's there's there's a lot of competition in there. What are your impressions of just how you guys as coaches now, that you've known each other for eight months, in some cases longer, right, but uh, getting out there and the chemistry with you guys putting this thing on and, and going, how's that going? Probably the best chemistry I've been around. Really? This, okay. this staff is unbelievable. We have we have guys that care about young people, and that's, that's the key, right? There, there's a lot of care, a lot of mentorship, a lot of guys, a lot of father figures, a lot of guys that, that understand – how to win, but win the win in the right way. Yeah. 